now we're ready for the fabric cutting um, behold an old sheet uh, there were holes uh, on, on parts of it so I cut off that part used some of it <laughs> to make a, the skirt on my on my Barbie doll so I'm gonna find uh, it's not worn out otherwise it's it's the rest of it is in pretty good shape there were some high quality sheets um, so yeah, uh, there is a, a horizontal, uh, there's, I'm sorry, there, I'm going to hold them, they're vertical stripes. So uh, I had to think about how, how to place the block. Um, you have to think about how to orient it. This is new territory for me, uh, working uh, with patterns. Luckily, uh, I happen to uh, own at least one skirt. <laughs> That, that has vertical stripes and, uh, and that, that is making use of that pattern in much the same way as I'm trying uh, to do this. Here it is, a little frumpy because I was <laughs> kneeling on the floor with it. Um, so the thing that I noticed, and I was seeing that uh, on, the, on the pictures uh, that I, I've been looking at to, in the designing of this skirt. So... In the front, the, the lines are diagonal, so it's not following the straight of grain of the fabric. Uh, where it's straight is on the side. So there's the, if I can find it, the side seam is right there, and it's, it's aligned with the, with the stripes at that point. So what we're going to have to do is the same thing uh, with the skirt. So, so instead of aligning with the, the block, uh, where's my center fold? This, well, this would be the, this is the center seam. I'm not going to align this with uh, the stripes. Uh, this side, which is the side of the skirt, will be the side that I align um, with the stripes. I folded uh, the fabric uh, along a stripe here uh, with just enough width to fit my uh, pattern. Um, and I fold it wrong side up um, so that I can trace on it. Um, and so here's where the important part comes. Uh, you need to take, normally you would put the center fold here. I mean, this is where I folded my fabric. Uh, but no, uh, we're going to take the uh, side of, of the skirt. And I know I really should have labeled it. One is not quite straight. One has a little bit of hips, so this one. So I'm going to put that one, it's got a little bit of curvature up here. That's how I know this is the side of the skirt, not the down the center. Uh, I've also uh, did a, a fitting. We found Momo's favorite mouse, look at that. Um, I also did a fitting uh, and I discovered that this was not long enough. So I'm going to leave uh, another three centimeters. It, it, I want to have plenty of, of length. Um, so yeah, line this up on the side, and I'm going to go ahead and trace all around. What was a little camera shy, huh? And I'm, I'm going to trace all around, uh, cut, and also and unfold it, and I'll have to cut it here because I do want two pieces of that, and, and not just one. securely in place uh, and then cut. I hope you're admiring my dedication to my kitten. <laughs> I don't necessarily recommend working with a kitten <laughs> while your kitten is playing on the fabric. Uh, this is a low pressure project. <laughs> I'm really doing this to practice. I did not pay anything. For this fabric um, and if I fail I, I'll try again and I won't be too disappointed.
<laughs> I swapped it. <laughs> we'll unfold it uh, and uh, cut it here because I do want uh, two pieces of this. Uh, not, I don't want this to be all in one piece. So let's uh, try and picture what this is going to look like. Uh, so this will be, this will make up the front of the skirt. Uh, cutting the back pieces for the skirt is a little more involved because they have to overlap. No, I don't think the, the stripes will line up. I don't have that kind of... I couldn't, couldn't do it. Um, let's see. Yeah, maybe I can... Can I cheat a little bit? No. Nope, so it'll be like that. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 I'm getting it wrong. Okay, yeah, uh, I think, I think that that will work. It'll be decent for an apron, <laughs> apron type summer skirt. Uh, good enough. I went ahead and, and pinned them together along this, uh, the center because that there will be uh, a seam there. And in doing so, I, I found out how you can make this line up better. My mistake was at the edges, I, I followed one of those, one of the dark um, stripes. But what I should have done is I should have put that fold right halfway between them so that it would be symmetrical when I got to here. And it would be approximate, but it would be better than what I have here. Um, like I said, this is not a, an evening gown, <laughs> not even, it's not even to go to the office really, it's a gardening dress, and also uh, there will be folds, so I'm going to go with this, I'm not, I'm not redoing this, uh, but, you know, one day in my wildest dreams, I, I might make a, a, a real dress, you know, well, like a, a summer dress, something to wear um, outside of the house. And so this is very good experience. Um, I, I learned something here.